on the last video. Wah! And so it continues. Time to help people, Mom. We're gonna be heroes. But first, I'm gonna go down here. Don't know why. <gasps> Hang on, Mom. I found a new friend. What are you looking at? It's cabbage, okay? You look like you've never seen so many cabbage. It's cabbage! Okay? Cabbage. Yeah, dude. Respect. You eat what you want to eat, man. I don't hold it against you. There's a chest up there. My friend went back to Panky's shop. I figure Panky's gonna come looking for me soon, but I have a bit more time. I know we can't leave until the afternoon bread is out of the oven. <laughs> oh, I understand. Man's got a job. He's got to take care of business. I got 10 G. Dude, I'm the richest kid in the, in the West or East, whichever. I can't go that way. And there's rocks that way. I don't think we have the right tools to remove these rocks. You're right, Mom. You're right. So, knowing how right you are, I think it's about time we uh, go over this way, actually, because I was about to go home or to the hospital. But I guess we can, what is that? Is that a... All right. Hey, you aren't trying to take the Scylla berries off that bush, are you? Cause they're mine. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna take the Scylla berries. I'm gonna take the Scylla berries. Who is taking my berries? Run. Nice. We're thieves now, Mom. We're on the lamb. Fuck. Star and I is just around the corner. When I go this time, I want to catch myself a pet fish and eat sweets. Is it a holiday? Okay. Hey, buddy. He's tired. Alright. Well, I guess we took care of all that. Um, really quick. Reminder, what do I- I'm sorry, Mom. My bad. Sorry. Uh, what do I have in my inventory? Uh, a map, a book key, Raku in itself, and a syllabary. Fair enough. Hmm. Well, I guess we can go back home. Why not? Y'all have a good time. I'm sure the hospital doctors are like, where the hell did he go? Hmm, maybe we should go visit Jackie and finish that stuff up before returning to the hospital. Oh. Okay. I heard that you helped the blacksmith get his tools back. If you're gonna be around, you should come to our big star night celebration. Uh, what's that? Star Night is our village's biggest yearly festival. We celebrate the unity of the village and the blue star whose light guided the first Thebals to Morazora's forest. But this year it's gonna be tough to get everything organized in time due to the big storm we had last week. You might want to ask around and see if any of the villagers need help. Oh, okay, what's the other one you had? Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I fucked it. Do you need help preparing? Now that you mention it, we had a big storm last week that I mentioned a few times already, which might make it tough to organize everything in time. You might want to ask around and see if any have told you this before. Okay, um... Panky was mentioned at one point. Hey, Panky. Um, hey. Hey, buddy! How's it going? You, um, what's up? I'm busy preparing food for Star Night! Our village is the biggest, biggest yearly event! Hey buddy, how's it going? Um, you look stressed out. I am! Star Knight is almost here, but I'm nowhere near ready. I'm the village chef, which means I'm responsible for all the Star Knight food. I have to prepare pancakes for the pancake eating contest. Bake another ten pies. Collect Scylla berries for the I got that. Hey! If you could bring me 40 Scylla berries, life would be much easier. What do you say? Help a fellow out? I have one. Sure. Thanks, buddy. You can find syllabary bushes scattered around the forest. I need 40 of them. Shit. Well, I mean... Like, I got the- I got the five. Oh, I got five. Shoot. I'll try my best. Hey, friend. Welcome to Panky's Bakery. Because of the Star Knight, we don't have a whole lot right now. But I think we might have some royal jelly. Give me that shit. He received a jelly jar. Thank you. I don't know why I wanted it. It just sounds delicious. 
Alright. Syllabaries. I'm going to assume it's five per bush. Yes. Yes, it is. Alright, I'm on a hunt. A hunt for bear. He's not the bear that they've been talking about before. Apparently, he's a bully. And bullies are no good. So I've heard. Um. Where are the syllabaries? I did it, Mom. Hey, do you have any syllabaries? Cabbage. Sweet, sweet cabbage. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's not a syllabary, though, but... Hey, you do what you do. Is there any syllabaries down here? No. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should go see if I can grab the tools to potentially go further into the forest. That might help out. Let's see if I can do your voice again. Oh, hey, you guys! Thanks again for helping me get my tools back! My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of your own! I'll need five camphor sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just southeast of the village. Oh, okay. You got it, pal. Crap. Life is- life is hard in this little evil village. I just wanted to do free, easy things, but... No. Okay, can I actually go southeast? Is that a, an option? Because there's a sign here. By orders of the label chief, no one is allowed beyond this point until further notice. Hmm. We can probably just move this sign. It doesn't look too heavy. Excuse me? <gasps> no one moves me. I'm here for your protection, you know. There are angry spirits beyond here. You don't have to worry about us anymore. And why is that? We just went through Morazori's cave. We even got the blacksmith tools back for him after they were stolen by angry spirits. In fact, the blacksmith sent us to collect materials for him. Oh, really? Well, why didn't you say so? You're free to pass, but be careful. Wow, sentient signs. It's kind of like paintings in Harry Potter land, but they're signs and they bounce. I'm going to assume that was the nightstone. It was the nightstone. All right, so I need camphor sticks. Got that. And this is something I could chop down later, right? Yep. Right tools to remove the bamboo. Gotcha. And I got more berries. Heck yeah, man. Two birds and berries with one stick stone. I don't know what I just said. Hey, a little onion man. Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you, it's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month, and their trash cans are flowing with fast food wrappers. But they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. Hmm. It's good to know, little buddy. You 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 keep uh, working against that stereotype. Though they do exist for a reason, them stereotypes. There's a little bird boy to my left. I kind of want to look at him real quick. Hey, bird boy. Hi. I'm a Minamori. There are many of us, and we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the number stands for? It's the order in which we came into this world. Oh, is that right? Gotcha. Well, that's good to know, little buddy. Let me get the syllabary real quick. And these sticks. And this onion. I excuse me. What do you want? Uh, I don't know. I just want to be a friend. What do you want? Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez, I just thought we could bond, you fucking onion. I'm sorry. That was really aggressive of me to say. Crap. Can I go? Oh, I can go around this way. My bad. Are those spirits? They look angry. I mean, they don't really, but they could. Also, there's a little dude guarding a chest down there. I wonder if I beat him up, I can take it for free. If I don't beat him up, he'll probably be like, You can have this chest if you get me 15 gold. And I'm like, no. I want it for free. Hold the phone, dude. The Leebles use the area south of here for their Star Night Festival. They get crazy. But you know what's really crazy? Being a slave to your possessions. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff. Except for my garden. I love my garden. 
It brings me joy. So if you're thinking, it feels bad taking what's in that guy's box, he's standing right there. Don't feel bad. I don't even need it anymore. You know, it's tough at first. I don't go of your possessions. But what you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. I'm gonna take your stuff. 20G. <gasps> My man, you are a good seed. Plant, bud. Freedom! Alright, man. Yeah, keep it real, dude. You you do you. You you rock that shit. I got three of these, and I have uh, the, the sticks. I have five of those. I think I have enough, actually. I think that's all I needed. But I could be wrong. Let me talk to this Lilo real quick. Sorry. The festival's ground is closed until we get everything set up. Alright, man. Sounds good. I'm gonna go turn these in to my main man. Actually, what, how many syllabaries do I got? 30. I need two more bushes. Two more bushels of berries. And then he'll be so happy, and Panky will make the sweetest, sweetest pies? Desserts? Who knows anymore, but he'll make the sweet stuff. How about these spirits? You rescued a fire... Oh, these are fireflies! I called it rescue, but it's really received. Alright, I'll take free fireflies. I don't know why, I'll just take them. Hey, dude, I got syllabaries. Oh my gosh. So you took my berries, did you? No matter. They'll all end up in my belly one way or another. Oh my. You know... You, you seem to be a, a, a glutton for... Berries. Yo, man, I'm gonna give you a drastically different voice this time. Ah, I see you found materials for your axe. One moment, please. I hope you enjoy your new axe. You received an axe. It works great on bamboo and other types of fluid. In fact, why don't you go test it out on that door up there? Chop it down. Feel free to take what you find inside. Why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? Uh huh. I mean, he's got a good point. Oh god. Dangerous. A cat's eye marble. <gasps> Mom, I have another little baby world planet thing. Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. Chopping this down and taking this stuff too. I found 10G. I'm loading myself up on this. And there's a lot of bushes that I found before. Like, there's a lot of them all over the place. Honestly speaking, I'm gonna forget where some are. And I'm gonna feel really bad. There's another chest down there by the cat store. It's not a cat store, it's just where the cats are. That's fine. More Tenji, alright. <sighs> well, hmm. Hmm? Hmm. I guess I could just go down. I think there was bamboo stuff blocking here. Nope, it was just the rocks. Okay. I know there's also bamboo in Morazor's cave. Do I go there? You know what, frickin', I'm gonna go there. That's gonna be bugging me if I don't do it. There's also the west side here. Hey. Alright, what's over here? Ooh. Spooky. Where's my friend gone? I can't sleep until I find her. Hmm. Ghost Sue, we'll figure something out for you. Friends are important. And stuff. Mom, why can't we swim? You didn't teach me enough. An emerald beanstalk sapling. And another bucket thing. Alright. I'm guessing this is something I can come to later. Probably. Anyway, to the cave thing. Hey, so I think I squashed all the bad dudes. I'm sorry. The bad shrooms? Whoa, little dude. You're so radical. My sources tell me that you stepped on a lot of bad shrooms. Whee! I guess you've totally earned access to the store. The store. Only members of the RPS and dudes that the RPS deem worthy are allowed to buy items from. The store. Whoa! It's our way of saying thank you for your help, little dude, and super rad mom. Unfortunately, we're not quite open yet. 
Why don't you come back in a while and we'll totally hook you up. Oh, okay. Here we go. I knew there was some beans, or I'm sorry, bamboo stuff over here somewhere. Uh, 25G. Okay, well I'm getting some dollar dollar bills, y'all, but not exactly what I was looking for. Personally, I'm looking for, uh, well, I know it's a stretch. Syllabar- Oh, I killed a good one. Don't tell anyone. But personally, I'm looking for some syllabaries, or maybe even some, I don't know, other things? Hey, cat thing, I'm gonna check in here if that's okay. Hopefully there's nothing important. There's a frog. Hey, frog. You found a Glen the frog. I caught a frog. Maybe we could take it back to the hospital. Better would make a great pet for the people on my floor. Glen the frog. Hold on a second. Yep. Yep. Glen the frog. Chrono trigger. I freaking knew it. Nice referencing, dog. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me I hate the sharpest tool in the shed She was looking kind of glum with a finger in her thumb In the shape of a nail on her forehead Hey! Yo, I see Sue has left and went the other area But I'm gonna check here if that's okay You guys keep it real in there Two! Two chests! 25 more G. And a golem child doll. I found a baby doll boy. Don't know why, but I did. Well, the years stop coming and they don't 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 stop coming. All right. My boys, my homies, gang, gangarinos, thuggerinos, ding dangly doodlies. I got. I got a frog now, I got a golem baby doll child thing, I don't know what else you want from me. I'm just kind of rolling, rolling so hard in, in the paint right now. I'm not sure what that means. I just know people say it. I guess I can check this area one more time. These cherry blossoms look lovely by the way. Great pixel work there. Big fan. Pixel work is one of my weaknesses. He's still sleeping, so I can't get up there, and I can't break that rock either. Ah, freaking frack. Alright, yeah, we'll go down southeast. Man, I'm just some random dude who just pulled up in this town and was like, I'm gonna help with this festival. They're gonna love me. And that's what I'm doing. That's just what I decided to do today. I'm gonna check what this chest is. Don't mind me, mild onion, or whatever you called yourself. Uh, another 25G. How many, how many monies do we have right now? Hold on. 160? Jesus Christ, Mama, I could buy a PlayStation 4. Assuming G converts into USD in a good manner. I'm not really sure how the that fact is, but you know, it's 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 okay, Mama. Hey, um. Oh, wait, there's there's wood here. I don't know if I need this anymore, but I have some wood. Um. Huh. I have a feeling I can't really do much anymore, right? Sorry, the festival's closed, so we got any set up. Okay. Huh. Do I really not have enough berries? I'm still missing ten. Can I do anything with these frogs? I just... The, okay. Um... Whoa, God! I, oh, God, what did I do? I used them both. What happened? Is there a collection or something? Is... Um... Oh, God. Mom? What happened? Hello. Um, are you okay with that? My co-workers are so stern. I saw a giant rainbow from the fifth floor and no one else was excited. Oh. Okay, Mom. Thanks. I don't know what happened to the things I used. Did I eat them? I hope I didn't eat Glenn the Frog. The baby doll boy... I mean... I guess it might have been tasty, but... The frog? No, oh, this is wrong. I break this thing. There was no reason to. Frick. Maybe I can go back to the hospital. Maybe. Can I do that? Is that allowed? Is that legal? Yes, I can. Okay. Alright. That's good. We're back at the hospitale. 
hopefully, um, I didn't really eat that frog because I was kind of excited to use it. Just a little bit. Oh. All right. Mom, we got to fix this thing up. The house plant that looks like it could use some water. Mom, we need that bottle of water. Hold on a second. Fill it up. Sink's full of the water. Okay, Mom. We gotta get some water. Who are those people? I'm very sorry about this, Winston. I just can't believe someone would do something like this. Stealing a wedding band from a comatose woman. These are indeed desperate times. We will do all we can to try and find out who stole this from her. Thank you for your help, Doctor. I understand how busy everyone must be right now, so this means a lot. Of course. And if you could spare some extra blankets, it would be very appreciated. I know they boarded up the hole inside the bathroom wall, but there's still a chilling wind coming through. I'm very sorry about that, Winston. Won't we'll send over some supplies. Thank you. I'll come by later to check on Gemma. Uh, or Gemma? Gem, Gem. I'm sorry, Winston. I'm, I'm butchering her name. Forgive me. In the meantime, please take care. Poor Winston. Hey, Doc. I'm sorry. I really need to make sure this gets finished. I'll come by your room later to check in on you, okay? You got it, Doc. Hey, dude. How are you hanging today? What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures, when I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I do need peace and quiet, every day in the world has to come to my room and wear this nurse to my coffin! He's my new father. Hey, Liebel! I think it's a Liebel. See? I have a marble. I can give my friend Sue the marble. It'll be great. You're not Sue. Sorry, that was embarrassing. I don't want to embarrass myself. Oh, awkward. Hey, Winston. Oh, Gemma, Gemma, Maggie, Patty Mayonnaise. I'm sorry about all this. Poor Winston. Oh, what is it, Mom? While we're here, do you think Sue might like the cat's eye marble we got from Jackie? Good idea, Mom. I think she would. Yeah, that was, that was the idea, Mom. Thanks for taking my, my idea. Oh, hey. He came back. It's good to see you again. What's up? Did you hear? Somebody stole Gemma Gemma Mary Sue's wedding ring. G -G Ganondorf? Oh. Garnett is Winston's wife. I share a room with her. Isn't that awful, though? I mean, who would steal something like that from a woman in a coma? I'm beginning to think that the thief isn't a very nice person after all. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Hey, you came back. I have something for you. You brought me something? It isn't much, but I remember that you collect marbles. Give Sue the cat's eye. Heck yeah. You give the cat's eye marble to Sue. Ah. Uh, it's Cat Planet. Cat Planet? Oh, I really, really miss this one. It really looks like a cat side, doesn't it? That's because the planet has lots of cats. But here's the surprising part. It has lots of dogs, too. There's dogs living there, too? Oh, yeah. People are always saying that cats and dogs can't get along. But that's just not true. People always think that if you're different, then it means you're bad. And then they treat you differently. Like, if you don't look the same, or if you don't have money anymore. Even if it's not your fault, they treat you bad because you're different from them. I know what you mean. But Cat Planet, it's different. The cats and dogs get along just fine. In fact, there's a bakery here that's run by cats and dogs. The cats and dogs make the food together? Yeah. It's really good, too. They have pink donuts and coconut bread. I love coco- I- 
I'm gonna have to disagree to agree with I'm incorrect. Uh hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Why do you keep snooping around our bathroom? Is there something cool in there? Can you keep a secret? I won't tell anyone. I think there might be a door down there. A special door. Where does it lead? To a place called Morazor's Forest. I'm trying to wake up the Guardian of the Forest so he'll grant me a wish. So you have secret worlds too? I do. Hmm. Well, the shift leader's in the bathroom now. So you might not be able to look around for your door. Unless... Here, give her one of these. So he gave you peanut choo-choos. Wow, she loves those peanut choo-choos, doesn't she? Thanks, Sue. She loves these. Good luck. Wow. You got it. Hey, Winston, I'm, I gotta help you out sometime. I just can't believe someone would do this. Oh, well, though. Can I help you with anything? Um. What's up? I heard that you created an entire set of armor out of paper. That's quite impressive. Oh, oh well, I, I, I gotta leave. Good luck, man. I'll get that wedding band back, probably, maybe. Hey, shift leader. Quit bugging me, kid. I gotta figure out how to fix this wall. Man, they weren't kidding. This draft is chilly. What do you want to do? You tell me quit bugging me, kid, when I have my mom with me? You're not very good with, uh, PR, are ya? Here's a peanut choo-choo. Oh man, you don't know how badly I was craving one of these. I love peanut choo-choos. I guess I can go take a fiver to eat this. I need to regain my energy if I'm gonna continue to keep it ba 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 I need to regain my energy if I'm gonna be doing ba 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 I need to regain my energy if I'm gonna be doing construction work. Thanks a lot, kid. Mom, that lady's gonna get fired, isn't she? Don't mind me while I'm just bring this axe around the hospital. Hey, oh, what a pretty ring. Uma. Oops, time for me to run. Uma, you little shitbird. Uma. Come on, Mom. Uma's being a bad man. Ooh. Uma, you can't hide from me in there. Is that dude wearing a wig? Holy crap, it's the bear! What the heck, Tony? Get out of our craps! Stupid labels. I'm just looking for something I've lost. I'll go wherever I want. Grumpy little bear. Damn, he jumps far, though. Can you believe that, Tony? My poor turnips. He's destroying my garden. Someone needs to tic-tac, tic-tac, tic-tac. Fuck, someone needs to talk to that bear. He has such a bad attitude. This is the third time this week. I'm starting to get worried. I'd volunteer to talk to him, but Winston up there will make us a boat to go to Tony's Island. Hey, you guys are new around here. Maybe Winston would be willing to help you out. Yeah! Will you talk to him for us? Ask him to make him a boat! Winston? You don't know Winston? He's that guy standing over there by the tent with the wig on. Please talk to him for us. It's a matter of life and death. Well, live and dead turnips anyway. Okay, okay. Thank you! Y yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Hey, Winston. Excuse me, are you Winston? Yeah, that's me. I haven't seen you around Morzor's Forest before. Did you just move in? No, we were just visitors and stuff. Ah, I see. Do you need anything? Um, who's Tony? Tony's a notoriously ill-tempered bear who lives alone on that island. From time to time, he'll get really angry and rampage through the village. But to tell you the truth, deep down, I don't think he's actually a cruel bear. Do you need, I, why do you live here? My wife, Juma, has fallen into a coma. 
has been that way for quite some time. She's currently inside the tent. For the most part, I feel this area is a bit more peaceful than the bustling village to the west. And I want her to be as comfortable as possible. Do you need, can you make us a boat? I'm sorry, but I no longer make boats. But we want to help you. If you bowl us a boat, we can sail to the island and try to talk some sense into that bear. You mean Tony? Yeah. You are indeed very brave. And he has been quite troublesome as of late. But I'm sorry. I just can't. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, fine, Winston. Never mind then. Jeez, gosh. I was trying to be a homie and you, you just like... like Gotta be that way. I'm gonna go check out Uma right now. Uma, why are you why are you doing this shit? Uma! Ah! So we meet again! Why are you stealing again? I kept my promise, and I didn't tell anyone you were staying in the hospital. But then you go and steal a lady's wedding ring who's in a coma. What is wrong with you? You don't understand. She asked me to bring it to her. What? What are you talking about? Why are you making things up? No! She really did ask me to bring her wedding ring. And I think she might need your help opening that box over there. Not so you can keep what's inside, mind you. But for Winston. You're not fooling me again, Uma. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a wedding ring to deliver. Toodles! Gosh darn it, Uma. What a bully. There is a tiny envelope here. Open it. My dearest Germain, I searched for days and was finally able to retrieve your ring. Perhaps once you regain your consciousness, you can decide for yourself whether or not you still want to wear it. I also managed to find your box of belongings. I would have opened it and maintained its contents, though I have not found its key. I am so very sorry. Ah, frickin' frick. The chest is locked. Well, I don't got a key for that. It looks like she's fast asleep. Hmm. Hold the phone, door. I'll be there in just a second. Because I saw a sweet, sweet firefly. Got it. There's also another sweet, sweet firefly. Got it. Alright, coming back, door. Hey, door. Winston. Winston, is that you? Winston? Is somebody there? Hello? Why can't anybody hear me? Oh. What? What is that? What? Um. Uh. Okay. Sure. El Spay One. What? Open the locker. Yes. The door's rusted shut. You have one new message. Please enter your password to listen to your messages. Um, I have no idea what the password is yet. Guessing would take forever. Well, I could try, um, admin, maybe. Okay. Um, box, door, sink, fill the sink, yes, always. Never not. Open the lid. There we go. Uh, control panel, pull lever one. One is on. Control panel, two. pull lever two. Two is on. Uh, pull lever three. Three is on. That one was in red. Interesting. Uh, you. Uh, door is locked. Okay. Uh, you. Oh my. Hello? Okay. What's happening today? Ackerman 5. Oh dear. Oh! 
Well, this is a turn for the worse, it seems. Uh, open locker. Yes, doors rusted shut. That's that's great. Let's turn the light on. That's good. Hello? Uh, Gemma, come home. Turn, fill it with water. That's better. Huh. All right. Well, fill that with water too. It's broken. It looks like as though something is stuck inside the spout. Sure. You're unable to reach it. All right, I'll keep that in mind, I guess. What? Why is this happening today? Someone's walking. There is a hole. Beneath the cracked floor is a vertical pipe that is open at the top. A wooden key sits at the very bottom of the pipe. Take it, sure. Key is just out of reach. Hmm. You? Attention all hospital staff, floor restoration. Still dealing with the rust after the flooding. Simply mix together hydrogen peroxide and cream of tartar. Should create a solution that removes rust from metallic objects. Can I do that here? Oil microscope, glass beaker. Yes, you find a wrench. All right, um, upper shelf. Various books of languages, uh, middle. Uh, assortment of daily grammar, hangful practice, and basic Korean phrases. Seems that someone has placed a key between two of the books. Sure. Uh, small cabinet key. All right, and bookshelf cabinet. Cabinet's locked. All right. And you. Uh, shelves are lined with several years' worth of medical journals. Single piece of stationery paper has been placed in between two of the journals. Sure. My last memory before it was taken from me. Wow. Well, that's sad. It's very black and white. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, you know, that's, that's fine. Um, I believe there was some chemical looking things over here. So don't mind me. Um, mortar and pestle. Or pestle, I'm sorry. A variety of glass containers filled with multicolored liquids. And this is a rusted shell. Okay, so I need to make those chemicals like I mentioned before. Hydrogen peroxide and tartar sauce, I believe it said. Like, the food sauce? Because that's kind of interesting if that's the case. Alright, I have a small cabinet key though, so I'm going to check this door here. Yes. Small cabinet key. Cream of tartar. Okay. Just need hydrogen peroxide now. Uh, this does not open, right? That's what I figured. Alright, I have a wrench though. So, maybe... Hang on, let me check this. Alright. Maybe I should have tried the, uh, what was it? There was a sink that had a problem, right? So I could probably just mess up the sink here. You? Fill the sink with water? Yes. Broken? It looks as though something is stuck inside the spout. Try to remove it? Yes. You use the wrench to disassemble the faucet. You find a bookshelf cabinet key. All right. I know where to take that. I believe it was here. And this one. Use the bookshelf cabinet key. Hydrogen peroxide. All right, nice. So I can combine them here. Glass speaker, yes. Cream of tartar, yes. Take yes. You don't have anything to carry it in. Frick. How about this thing here? All right, can I grab this for with something I have now? Throw it at it? No, okay. Well, I need to find some kind of carrying device. My mouth would not work very good. Can I use this broom? No. Hmm. That person's gone. Hmm. Flip that one. Okay, I have one off. I'm going to put one and two off. I'm going to keep three on. Because three was red. Was that box? What? That's weird. You? Okay. Well, apparently flipping switches changes boxes. All right, maybe it's something with the levers here. So I'm going to pull this one, turn the lever that... Oh, it's stuck. You cannot turn it off. Never mind. Okay. On. This one's off. And that's going to put that box back, right? Yeah. Wait a second. If that box is gone there, can I move down here? Just, like, jump down? Would you like to jump down? Yes. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my. Well, this is new. Is this like the amnesia water monster sequence? Interesting. Um, come on, child. It's gonna be fine. There you go. Good job. Well, well done, pal. Yep. You, you could have died, but you didn't. And that really just proves to the world that you're capable. E get out of here, evil thing. Gosh. And stairs. And then we can leave. And now... Now everything's great again. Maybe. I don't know. But we did that. So... Maybe that pushed the... Uh, that thing out of the pipe. I think it was a key. Yeah, that didn't do anything. At all. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm the stupid one in this relationship. Sometimes I wonder. What am I doing? Sometimes I wonder, hey. Am I missing something entirely? Sometimes I wonder, where's mom? There's no one to talk to here. I know. Sometimes I wonder, hey. You remember when I knew what was going on? And then other times. Well. Then other times. Nothing in these, huh? Single piece of stationary paper. My last memory. Upper shelf. Books. Middle shelf. Books. Bookshelf cabinets empty. Cabinets empty. Glass beaker. We created a solution. Take some with you. You don't have anything to carry it in. Why can't I carry it in the glass beaker? I don't know. Why would I not be able to carry it in the glass beaker? What's wrong with using the glass beaker? Why can't I just use the glass beaker? I would love to use the glass beaker. I think using the glass beaker would be a really good idea to carry it in. Because the glass beaker is already carrying the thing that we need. And we can just carry the glass beaker that is carrying the thing that we need to open up the rusted lockers. Which would further our progress in the adventures to come. Maybe I could use this little machine here. Device used to measure height. Doesn't do anything for me there. That's okay. Things happen. It's part of the struggle. Part of the struggle to figure out who we are and what we're here for. Gemma, come home. For that sink is filled with water. Who really knows anymore? This is a bed. Don't know what the bed's for. If no one's in it, it's just kind of sitting there being a stationary prop. It doesn't help me carry any liquid substances. I would like to carry a liquid substance, but I can't figure out what to bring carrying other than the beaker, which I can't carry for some reason because my little boy hands are just like, I can't carry that beaker. I should find someone to carry this little substance in, but I can't find anything to carry the substance in because all these things are locked because it says it's rusted shut and I need the thing that's in the beaker to open the things. And if I go in anything else, it's like there's nothing in here. Open the cabinet, it's empty. If I go in my bed, I can't do anything. This is a plant. This is an IV bag. I could carry an IV bag, but it won't let me because it doesn't work like that. And then if I go into this bathroom, I can flip some switches, but God, I don't know what these do anymore other than move some boxes around. This is a toilet. That's all I can do is open and close the toilet. That's all I got. Wait. Found it. 